Welcome to the Salem Spring School District Gifted and Talented Programs. Today we're going to spend some time talking about the different components that make up our program. The Salem Spring School District GT mission statement states that we will provide a safe and challenging learning environment where students have the opportunity to maximize potential and become real world problem solvers. The state of Arkansas requires that all districts must provide an approved program for its gifted and talented students. The program must offer a curriculum that differs in degree, but also in kind, and must be in place of rather than in addition to the required grade level classwork. Each year, our program is evaluated by teachers, administrators, school board members, community members, parents, students, an advisory board, and the state department. Some characteristics of a gifted and talented student include being unusually curious and or persistent, having an unusually large voc vocabulary for their age, they may show unusual independence for their age and may reason abstractly, they may display long-term recall of information, they can be creative and imaginative beyond age mates, they can solve problems in a unique manner, and they may have perfectionistic tendencies. Some ways that you can meet the needs of a gifted and talented student in your classroom include recognizing and encouraging their talents, allowing them to dive deeper into a topic, encourage their curiosity and independence, be realistic and flexible, allow time with their intellectual peers and support their social and emotional needs. On the screen, you'll see some community resources that are outstanding for identified gifted students. Arkansas has a set of criteria required for placement. We are required to show strong or exceptional evidence in the areas of creativity, ability, and motivation. For creativity, we are looking for students who can generate many different ideas. They may have original ideas or can elaborate on ideas. These students are often risk takers and ask a lot of what if questions, and they can tolerate ambiguity. For ability, these students want to know. They love to learn. They may or may not have high grades. It's important to note here that identified gifted students are rarely motivated by grades, but rather by the act of learning itself. They may be avid readers and can manipulate information, and they thrive on complexity. For motivation, these students can persist or be highly motivated in the area of interest. They can be resourceful and predict problem areas. These students can work without distraction for long periods of time on tasks, and they can organize and plan well. On the screen, you see two different Venn diagrams, and in the middle where the circles meet are examples of GT students. It's important to understand that GT students are as diverse as the general population. Some of these students may have higher ability and less creativity and motivation. Some may be highly creative and motivated and show less ability. It is very rare to have a GT student who is equal in all three areas. Referrals for GT can be made by teachers, parents, students, staff, community members, and students can even refer themselves. A combination of subjective and objective data is used during the screening process. Some examples of objective data include the OLSAT, Naglieri, and Torrance test for creativity. Some examples of subjective data include the Renzulli inventory, the HOPE scale, a parent observation checklist, ACT Aspire, and MAP scores. After screening is completed, a school committee evaluates the data to determine if placement in the Gifted and Talented program is appropriate. The committee is made up of two classroom teachers, a counselor, an administrator, and the GT teacher. Some GT programming options in our district include STEAM at the pre-K through second grade level, 
Discovery, which is a pullout in grades three through six. Discovery, which is a scheduled class in grades seven and eight. Pre-AP honors and advanced courses in grades six through 12. Concurrent credit courses and advanced placement courses at the high school level. And acceleration, either partial or whole grade as needed. Some underserved populations that we work very closely with include students who are second language learners, students from diverse socioeconomic backgrounds, students who are quietly gifted, students considered twice exceptional, and students who underachieve. We will talk more about these later in the school year. Some ways that we can help you include providing open enrichment, which is a program offered for students who have high ability, but who are not identified as gifted. We can help by offering differentiation ideas. We offer small groups as our schedule allows. We can offer extension ideas and student support. On the screen, you'll see a list of our teachers along with the buildings they serve Please reach out and let us know if you have questions or if we can be of support to you in your classroom. Thank you so much for your time and we look forward to working with you this year.